that's why we dare to do that. <laughs> um, but the first graders and second graders, they think we're terrific with that. <laughs> in the book is also, I mentioned the 75 kids that we worked with in the middle school, and they were really neat because they were sixth graders and helped us with editing and told us what worked and didn't and what they'd like if they were younger. But we did a recipe contest, and the cookbook is in the back of our book with the recipes that are fun. And that's why we are dressed like this. We're going into schools four, five, six times a week, and we're doing programs. We're teaching kids how to make things at home they can eat instead of just reaching for garbage. And we're doing five-hour programs today in school. So this is part of uh, what our mission is and what we want to do is to make kids responsible for what they eat and do. Well, another thing I want to point out, um, we are involved with the Canis for Kids Foundation for Literacy, and we donated 500 books at our own cost so that these can go out to people's homes where children may otherwise not even have a book in their home. And we're involved in Collier County with the Safe and Healthy Children's Coalition. Susan, you're an MVP along with your fellow Rotarians, and you do so many great things, and I want to thank you for allowing us to come and be part of this Friday morning meeting. It's been said, if you want something done, ask a busy person to do it. We want to thank you for taking time out of your lives for listening to us this morning and allowing us to share the mission and also give kudos to you for your work with Rotary. Thank you and we would love to answer any questions you may have now.